everyone this is Angie from Stampin' with the More. Welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. Hello everyone. I got some more goodies from Arteza and so I am going to do another review. This time they sent me some watercolors and there's 36 in this package. It says premium. They're half pans. It's a metal box, reusable paint when dried on palette, and it's non-toxic. And I have been playing a little bit with this. It also comes with a water brush pen. But I've been playing a little bit with this because it's been years since I've touched a watercolor palette. But I'm super excited because I can use this so much in my stamping. And so I'm really excited to try this. I think it was in high school because I majored in art in high school. And I think it's been high school since I've even touched watercolors. So I've only played with it a little bit on some watercolor paper. So I'm really ready to try it on what they sent me next. All right, so they sent me these little three by three mini canvases and they are on easels. I did take one out already of the package, so it comes like this, and it's, they're all individually wrapped in plastic. So they're three by three, pine wood stretcher, bars and easels, primed with acid-free gesso, which is really great. And then um, it is a four, uh, 14 pack, so there's 14 in here. I can't wait to just do some, I don't know what we're gonna do. Everything here is just not planned. We're just going to play with it and do some maybe holiday things. So that is the other project. And I haven't used these yet, so I'm excited about that. And then they also sent me these 100% cotton cold pressed acid free watercolor um, postcards. There's 30 in this pack. They are 140 pound, which is a really nice weight. They are four inches by five and seven, uh, five and three quarter inches. So I'm super excited to try these. I love how they have these little barcodes and you can get um, hints on there how to use them. So you can just use it with your phone, your iPad, it's really neat that they do that on the back of this. So it gives you some. And these say expert. I am not an expert. <laughs> okay. All right. So look at these. How cool is this? So we're going to try something with this too. I haven't used these yet, but you can write your sentiment on here. Um, address it here. And then just do your holiday picture on here. There's some really um, easy things I'm going to share with that even your kids can do. And wouldn't that be cool to send it to your family, something that your kids did, and it wasn't my idea. I actually saw this many years ago, maybe three, four years ago. Um, some other YouTuber did it, and she's very, very, she's a doodler, and she really likes to doodle, so I'm going to show you what I saw her do on there, and I've always wanted to try it, so now I have the chance to try it. So we're going to do that, and so the watercolors... And this is the, the pan that comes with. And so you have your little mixing areas here, which I always highly recommend mixing them before using them because you can mix them thinner or you can leave them thicker to get different kind of color looks to it. And here is the water brush. Now, I did play with the water brush a little bit and I feel like I have better control with a brush. But... Um, well, I'll show you a little bit how I use this. I did bring up some other watercolor uh, paper to show you. Now it comes like this and it has a little chart where you, and I did um, do all the little testing on here so I can get an idea what the colors are because looking like this, you really don't know until you put it on the paper. And then this also, you can add 12 other colors to this. So you got the 36 and you can add 12 more you'll have 48 colors so it's really really nice but I love the pigment of these colors and I don't have anything to compare it to because like I said it's been forever since I've watercolor so let's go ahead and just have some fun with it so we're gonna I do have a thing of water over here that we're gonna play with and I have a paper towel because you always need that I also took out my Harvest Hello stamp set. 
so that I can stamp my pumpkin because we are going to try to stamp and color and maybe we'll do a Halloween or postcard. So just something very simple. All right, so let's go ahead, let's start with, the, with this little postcard. And I really love this idea. So I really highly recommend using Stazon when you're stamping any stamps on this. You're, Cause I think the Memento will probably run. I am not positive, but I think that you really need to use Stazon with the watercolor. So I'm inking up my pumpkin. Let's see, where do we want to put that? Let's put it to the left here and hold it down just a minute so it absorbs that ink. And then let's go ahead and put a leaf on there and a little stem. You can use this also for Thanksgiving. I don't even know what I'm doing here, but we're going to try it. I think I'm going to also just put some like leaves just falling. And we'll leave a space for a sentiment there. I think that's good. All right, that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to do the sentiment till after. All right, so let's, I'm going to grab first the brush. Let's go ahead and I'll show you how the water pen works. So I'm just going to put a little bit of water on here first, and I'm going to use my little chart here to see what colors I want to use in, it, in this. So I'm just going to have that out. And I think I'm going to do the chrome orange first. And I am going to mix it on here because you can see, you know, how heavy you want it if you just want to wash and so I am not I am not going to add water to my card I'm just going to use it off of here but it's the pigment on this is lovely it's really really nice and I can't wait to use this in my card making because this is really really what I'd love to use for this. So we are just coloring that in. I'm going to add the darker here. So I'm going to pick up that other darker that I mixed and we're going to kind of outline it here. Uh, you can tell it's been years I haven't done this, but we're just going with it. This is just fun. Okay, I'm going to grab some more of that. And we're going to add some color to the bottom here. And you can keep squeezing out the water because it is a water pen. And we're going to add some to the top here. And I think I'm going to rinse that and I'm going to pick up another color. I think I'm going to pick up like a yellow gold. It's called golden yellow. So I'm going to pick up that color next. I don't know. We're just, we're just trying this. I'm just going to add water to it. So you can just squeeze the water out while you're adding it. And let's just add some, some of that to it. I'm really liking the way that's looking. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the darker on the ends here. And then I think we're going to just go with that. So isn't that cute? So I'm going to grab a brown. I'll just use the mahogany just for the little stem. And then we're going to do our... And you want it, you want this to be more translucent. That That's what watercolor is about. So you want it to be colorful, but translucent, and the colors on this are really, really gorgeous. So let's go ahead and mix up some more of the green. And we're gonna just color these all the same, just with like a wash of color, and then I'll go back and add a little bit 
Don't worry about even staying in the lines on this because I think it's more fun, like on the leaves and stuff, to for it to look really watercolored. All right, so now I'm going to grab a different color here, and I think I'm going to use this jade green. And we'll just add a little bit of color. These all can be different. And if your leaves start getting too dry, just wet them with your water brush, because you do have water in here. And you do have to wait for these to dry, but I think that's super pretty like that. I think I'm going to try and do some splatter. <laughs> Let's do a little splattering here. All right, I'm going to use probably my saffron orange. We'll do a little, but we need it to be very runny for that. So I'm just going to tap. And we're not going to go crazy with it. And I think that's it for that. And then maybe we'll do, let's see, let's do another fall color. Let's do something like, uh, there's a Persian red here. Let's see what that looks like. And you just squeeze your pen to make it runny. So let's just add a little bit of that. Yes, I'm making a mess, but it's fun. I think that's it. I think that's going to be it for that. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment. And you can make it fall. I'm going to make it Halloween, but I'm going to clean off my paints here so I'm ready for the next, the next project. And then again, I'm going to use the stays on. And we can put happy, happy Halloween on the front. And then you can write your own sentiment on the back. There you go. Happy, happy Halloween. It's very simple and easy. Like I said, kids can do this. But wouldn't it be cute just to send a little postcard to someone? And I mean, you can make it super fancy, but this is just simple. All right, so that is our first project. So let's set that aside. Let's go ahead. Let's, since we have the postcards out, let's do something Christmas. And I'm going to show you the little technique that I told you um, that somebody had shared. I've seen, I've seen it quite a few years ago. I don't know. It might have been four or five years ago. This time I'm going to use my brush for this because it's going to make it. And I'm using a, let's see, a number 12 here. It's a big brush. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just pick up some colors like we're going to do Christmas. So I'm going to use the scarlet red here. And we're going to make it kind of runny here. But you can add different colors. I'm going to go ahead and mix in some of the, let's make, add some magenta to that just to give it some little variation here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is we are making Christmas ornaments. So I'm gonna put one in the center. And you just need to, this is why I said even your kids can do this because it's, it's just really fun and easy. <laughs> And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab a little more of that magenta and add just a little bit of color here. And a little bit more of that red. You can see the colors just blending. And I think that's good for that one. Let's do another one. Let's do a green one. And let's do maybe a cobalt green. And I want to make sure that's pretty thin too. And let's do one here. And I'm just doing circles. You can do whatever shape that you want. And you don't, 
this is you don't have to be particular I'm telling you it's it's just really a cute idea and then maybe let's do one more little one and let's I'm gonna add a little bit of turquoise to this one it needed something so I'm gonna add the jade green all right I like adding different colors Maybe we'll do one little one right here on the other side. I could have moved those over a little bit, but let's do a yellow. So we're going to do the cadium light yellow. Again, we're going to mix, mix it pretty thin. And I'll probably add maybe something else color to it. So I'm just going to make a small one here. Let's make this one down here and like I said I mean just just use your imagination that's I'm I'm just doing this on a whim I'm not I don't have anything planned I just thought I'd share with you this little technique that I, I learned quite a while ago I thought it was really cute I've never tried it myself but here we go all right so we're gonna do that and I'm going to set this aside because it needs to dry a little bit. And let's move on to the canvas. Now I have an idea for the canvas. We'll see how it works because, like I said, it's been years since I've actually um, watercolored on canvas or anything. So let me see. I'm going to use this little flat brush. It's a number two. And my idea is to... Uh, let's wa wash it first. I'm going to wash it with some blue, and I'm going to use the cerulean blue here. And I really want this thin because I want it to be the background of this. So I want it really thin. We'll see how this works. So I'm just going to start sweeping it across here. You do need a bigger brush for this. And I want it to get lighter as we go down. So it almost looks like snow on the bottom. I love this canvas. It really is nice on this canvas. Um, I did bring my heat tool here. So let's just grab that and we're going to dry this really quick. It does dry really, really quickly. And I thought because of the video, I would probably need to do this. <laughs> I may even hit those other ones. Yeah, I'm going to hit those really quick. And this way, they're all ready to go. All right, it's that simple. So we just created a little background in there. I love this canvas. Oh, I can't wait to try this. Okay, so here we go. So what I'm going to do is I have this green right here already, so I'm going to just go ahead and use that. I'm going to make it really thin because I want it to look like we have trees in the background. So here's what I do. So I'm going to just draw a line, and then you are just going to start. There's different ways to do. Um, this is a really, really simple way. And you want it really thin because these are going to be like in the background. And then you're just going to make them really, really light. And let's see, let's make a smaller one. I don't know how this is going to look when we get done. We're, we'll see. But. We're going to see. All right, and then the next one, I'm going to add some more watercolor to that because I want them to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to add more paint to it. So then we're going to do the next one. So I'm going to start laying. This is going to be a little bit darker. So we're getting darker as we come to the front. And I am making, these are going to be Christmas trees, believe it or not. 
But it's a really, really simple way to make some trees. And then we're going to do some that's almost straight watercolor because these are going to be in the front. And let's do one big one down here. So can you see the difference in the, the shading? And then you're just going to keep going up. And you're going to get narrower as you go to the top. Now you have, you can make this wider. But it's going to be like that. And then we're going to put another one up here. And I'm probably going to add, I want a little spot for the sentiment, so right there. So I think I'm going to leave that, but I'm going to, I'm going to add like some over here that are a little bit darker. These are really fun. This is really, really fun. I'm going to do one here. All right, I think that's going to be it. I don't want to, I mean, I got a little forest here, but I think it's really, really pretty. All right, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a little, another color to it because I want to add a little bit kind of dimension. So let's use the lighter spring green. And you can just start adding. I've got a lot of water on my brush, but if you feel like you've got too much water, and just take your your paper towel and dampen it up and then you can go back and this this is the the fun part of watercoloring but I'm just gonna add a little bit I need some water on that one and then just just Add to whatever you like. I'm going to add a little bit more of that darker one on here because I took some of that away. All right, I think that's going to be it for that. I do need to dry this again to make sure when I do my sentiment that um, it's not going to bleed or anything and it's got to be dry. I'm going to use the stays on again, so we should be good. Okay, so look what we got <laughs> so far. All right, so I'm going to clean this off. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the rest of these. All right, let's close this up. I love, love the color on here. So I grabbed my Itty Bitty Christmas, and we'll see what sentiment we want. I think I'm going to do... Um, Let's do Happy Holidays. I think that will fit. Or Happy Christmas. Let's do Happy Christmas. That'll fit right there. So we're going to do Happy Christmas on that with our stays on, of course. And then I'm going to I'm going to try to dress this up a little bit. I'll show you here in a minute. You can do so much with these little canvases. Oh my goodness, look at that. Isn't that cute? It's You could just leave it like that. <laughs> I think it'd be cute. You can add some Wink of Stella. Once it's dry, take some Wink of Stella. I'm gonna add some just to see what it looks like. Make them all sparkly. But before we add the Wink of Stella, let me show you what I wanna do. So this is a really fine tip um, liner pen. So I thought maybe we will kind of enhance this a little bit. And I'm sure you can find any kind of, I'm just going to do a few of these just so that they stand out a little bit. Mm, I think that's it. I think that's more than enough. You can also use a paint 
pen. I have this paint pen and I thought I'd add like some little snow coming down. It just enhances the whole thing. Look how cute. <laughs> I really like this. All right, now we're going to add some. I love the watercolor. Let's add Wink of Stella. Once this is dry, you can add whatever on here. Just be careful um, that it will not bleed with your watercolors. So look at the final. I don't know, you probably can't even see the Wink of Stella, but wouldn't that be a cute little gift for someone? This could even be like a card for someone. I think that would be super adorable. So I think these come off too, because they don't look like they're on. I'm afraid to pull it, but it is stuck to that pretty good. Oh, there, look it. So you can move it, make it removable, and then it stands up. Look at how it stands up. Wouldn't that be a cute little Christmas card to send somebody? And it's super fast and easy. So, all right, let's go back to this one real quick. And I'm going to use that fine tip marker now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around like this. So you know what I'm doing here, right? I'm just making some little ornaments. But she, the girl did some doodling, and I wish I could remember her name, but it's been so long. She just went across... And then she just did little doodles all along these. And then like circles. And then you can do whatever. I don't know. I'm just doing something really quick here. Stars. I'm just doing it quick so that you can see what I'm talking about. And this is where I said your kids can do this. Because it's super, super easy. <laughs> okay, let's do some more circles down here. And then just draw a little top. And then you could put a line down to that. And then let's grab one of our... You can splatter this. That's what we're going to do. Let's get those again. Let's splatter this. I bet it'd be really cute, just splattered, like maybe red and green. Well, we have it out here. We might as well just do it, right? And I'm, I, you got to make it really, really runny to splatter. I'm going to try to do it with my brush this time. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't that be a cute little card? All right, let's do some red. Let's do this red. More water for this. You can even do the yellow. I think I do it better with the, there we go. All right, we're gonna splatter that and then let's put a sentiment on it. Why not, right? All right, let's do a sentiment. Let's do, Celebrate the season. How's that one? Again, I'm going to use my, you don't have to use stays on on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and use the memento because this is just watercolor paper. All right, so let's put that down here. Look at that. Wouldn't that make an adorable card? All right, isn't that fun? So we got our three little cards here. We got our card for Halloween, one for Christmas, and then we have our little easel. Look how cute. You have to get the watercolors. These watercolors are really, really nice, and they're super, super fun. You can have so much fun with watercoloring. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like any of these products, there is a 10% discount code I will leave in the description below the video. And I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. Have a blessed one. I'll see you later. Bye.